Hello, good morning once again, my dear Mathe uh, 4 students. How are you today? I hope that they're doing good. So today we're going to continue our lesson about uh, probability. Now we have here, uh, I'll make a video again for uh, the main topic on probability. We have heard the basic rules of probability. Now, what is probability again? That is the chance that something will happen. Probability tells us how likely an event will happen. It is the likelihood of the occurrence of the event. Okay, so that's the, it's like uh, what we have before on principle of counting that how uh, the event will occur from an, uh, from an experiment. Okay, so we have here uh, the symbol that we use for probability is uh, P for probability and the event for that probability would be A or, or we can write the, the symbol for probability as P with the parenthesis and the A. Okay, now remember that probability goes only from 0 to 1. Okay, so like uh, decimal, fraction, so it will never be going up more than 1. Na? Okay, so we go to the next slide. Oops. Here, these are the basic rules that we need to follow to figure out probability. We have here four basic rules. Number one, for any event A, so this is the value of the probability for any event A that it is greater or equal to zero, but lesser or equal to one. Na? So it cannot be a negative, okay? nor it cannot be more than 1, okay? So it will go only from that range. Now, second, P, certain event would be equal to 1. So we can write as P S is equal to 1 or the uh, sample space, okay? Like the sample space. Sample space is the whole thing. So for the probability of the sample space is 1. Nah? P, impassable event. So we can write empty set. So if impassable, there's no such, so zero. So the probability of anything or any event which is impossible, then that's zero. Okay, and number four, P, or the probability of not the event, or the other way, that would be we just subtract, okay, from one, then minus the probability of that event, then the answer would be not the event okay did you understand mine so those are the four basic rules that we need to follow first is that uh, the probability the range of probability is uh, zero uh, greater or equal to zero but lesser or equal to one and uh, probability of a certain event like for example for the probability of the sample space that would be one the probability of impassable event okay that it would happen like an empty set so it would be zero, and uh, the probability of not the event, or the other way, or not the other uh, outcomes. So that would be you subtract uh, one minus the, that event, then that would be the other way, the other outcomes. Okay? Now again, basically, we have here uh, the probability have two ways. We have the first one is theoretical and empirical. Na? Now what is a theoretical? Now, theoretical, this is the usual that we use to figure out probability for an experiment. It says here that um, theoretical probability of an event is the number of favorable outcomes that the event can occur. The same divided by the total number of outcomes. That's the basic formula of the probability. And here, it's included also that the probability of events that comes from a sample space of known equally likely outcomes meaning from the actual so you do this uh, experiment by your own and you know already what would be the outcomes the possible outcomes so here this is the formula so the uh, probability of that events would be the number of the favorable outcome or the cardinality of the favorable, out favorable outcome divided by the cardinality of the sample space na so we have here the number of favorable outcomes for that event and the total number of possible outcomes in the sample space. 
Okay, so that's the usual or the basic uh, formula probability that we usually use. Now, what is a favorable outcome? Favorable outcome, it is the equally likely outcomes up in the interest. So whatever the, the event that you are looking for from the possible outcomes, then that is the favorable outcomes. Complement. Complement of an event consists of outcomes that are not the event. So if there is the other way. So, for example, if the sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you are looking for the event which, uh, which are the uh, even numbers, so meaning to say that the complement would be the other way, not the event. That would be the odd numbers, 1, 3, 5. Okay, so when you say complement, that's the other way, just like uh, what we have uh, in a set. So if we're looking for the set, uh, the complement of set, that is the other way, the group of that event. Nah. So again, remember that we have this, uh, this is the general formula that we're using for uh, the probability. We have here the probability of the event occurring is equal to the number of outcomes for uh, favorable outcomes divided by the total number of the possible outcomes. Nah. So we have your example, like uh, getting the, the head when you are tossing a coin. So you will write here the probability getting the head. So you will write the head inside the parenthesis, okay, is equal to the number of heads, or this is the event, number of event, and the total number of possible outcomes. Now we know that when toss, tossing a coin, you have only two possible outcomes, right? The head and the tail. And uh, there's only one head. So we have here one and two, or that would be 0.5. So the probability of getting head in tossing a coin is only 0.5, okay, half. Or if we have here the probability of getting six, number six, when you roll a die. So we know that uh, a die has six sides, right? So there will be six numbers, okay? Now, again, you write here the, the probability of the event, which is six, and the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of favor, uh, possible outcomes. Now, the number of favorable outcomes, there's only one. There's only one six. Then one. Then there are a total of six numbers around the a die. So, therefore, the probability of getting six is only 0.16. There's only one part. Okay? Did you understand, my? So, that's how you can use the pro probability. Okay? Uh, just only like uh, the per it's like a percentage, similar to percentage, how likely that the event will occur for that kind of experiment. Now this one is probability line. So these are the how we can divide uh, the event, okay, like from zero to one. So for impossible, it's about here, so it really not exist. So unlikely, it's about to, so you see, one in six chances, unlikely, okay? Meaning to say that it's less, okay? It's less, less likely, less likely that it will occur. Now, even chances, balance, the same. So if you will have uh, three, three, so the same number, likely it's more, okay? More, like... Uh, uh, like this picture. So you will see here that for pink to compare to one green, right? So it will, it will be more likely that pink will come out from this group, okay? Likely. It will more, will be more. And certainly is perfect. It's 100%. Certain is 100%, like the sample space. So the sample, the probability of the sample space is one because it's 100%. You're using the same number of the event because sample space is the event divided by total uh, sample space that would be the same number so the probability is one na? or if you are going to use in fractional so the same so this is the position of those values like for even chances one half if uh, impossible zero certain only one so that's the uh, the value for for this uh, balancing of the probabilities. Now we have your example. So suppose that an experiment consists of drawing a card 
from a box containing 10 cards, each with a different number from 1 to 10. Reading on it, find each of the following. So, uh, question here, question A says, uh, the possible outcome for the experiment, the event A consisting outcomes are a number greater than 6, the event B consisting of outcomes which are even numbers, and the letter D, the probability of even numbers, and D, the probability of getting number less than 8. Okay, so these are the questions that we're going to figure out. So we have here for this problem, uh, we're going to draw. We're going to pick or get a card from a box that contains 10 cards. Na? So the cards, numbers, 1 to 10 on it. Okay, now we have here the question, letter A. The possible outcomes for the experiment. What would be the possible outcomes for the experiment? So this is the sample space. Na? This is the sample space. So we know that uh, the box contains 10 cards, right? So there would be 10 cards. So it, it is numbered 1 to 10. So therefore, the sample space would be 1 to 10. So we have there. The sample space would be equal to, uh, you, can, you will write that in a set form, set notation. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is the sample space. Okay? Now we go to letter B. This one, the event A consisting of outcomes which are numbers greater than 6. Okay, so from 1 to 10, that is the sample space, and the event A would be greater than 6. So what are the numbers greater than 6? We have 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that is the event A. That would be the elements of the event A. We have there the event A. The 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? So, we write only the elements of this event. Okay? So, uh, for question B, the answer would be uh, event A is equal to the element 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay? Understand my? Okay, we go to letter C. The event B consisting of outcomes which are even numbers. What are even numbers? So we have B are the even numbers. So we have the 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, right? So B is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Nah? So that's how you can write B consisting of outcomes which are even numbers. Okay? Now we go to letter D, the probability of uh, even numbers. So way back to question letter B. Uh, letters, letter C, yes, letter C. Question letter C, it asks about the even numbers, right? So, again, even numbers, we have, that is the event B and letter C. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, right? And the cardinality for that, there are five elements. Now, looking back to question letter A, which are the sample space. Now, uh, the cardinality for the sample space, there are 10 elements, right? Okay. So, applying that to the formula of probability, we have here. So, B stands for the even numbers, as we said in question letter C. Because in question letter C, we only apply uh, that, that the event B are the even numbers. Okay? So, that would be equal to favorable outcomes uh, divided by the total number of outcomes. Na? So, favorable outcomes is the event B, which are the even numbers, and there are five elements and total number of outcomes, which is the sample space, or there are 10 elements, right? So we substitute there. We have 5 over 10, or that would be 1 half or 0.5. Nah? So the probability of getting the even numbers from this experiment is only 0.5 or 1 half. Okay, Mike? Now for letter E, the probability of getting number less than 8, Okay. So for this one, we assume as uh, the event E, okay? Event E for getting less than 8. What are those? Now, these are the elements. So we assume that the, uh, the name for the event of uh, getting less than 8 is E. So you can assume any letters, okay? You can assume any letters. We have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 as the number less than 8. 
And what is the cardinality for that? Ne is equal to 7. And again, we have the sample space, which, which is 10. Na? And we substitute that again to our formula. We have our PE. This is the event of getting the less than 8. Favorable, out, favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. Then we substitute the value. We have 7 and 10. Or that would be 0.7. Okay. Did you understand my question? So I hope that you understand uh, the, the first part of uh, the basic, uh, the, the main topic now on probability. Okay. So we have here our uh, activity for today. This one. So there's a bag contains 50 cards, number 1 to 50. Then a card is selected by random. Find the probability that the number on the card is an even number, a prime number, a number divisible by 3, is a number not divisible by 3, is a two-digit number. Okay? So again, that's all for today, and uh, we see you again next time. Bye-bye!